Hey guys, welcome back to Silver Steam Learning. So today we're going to be doing somewhat of a different video. You, you might have noticed in the last video and in this video, different to what I normally do, but I came across these very inspiring stories of young people who overcame um, adversity and I really thought it would be quite a, a motivation to someone that might be in matric currently or someone that might be in high school currently that they can see that it is possible. Yes, um, life is difficult and you have your own challenges, but you're able to overcome that. So today we've got Alake and he's got a really, really amazing story. So lastly, just remember to please um, like this video, share it with friends and family, and most importantly, please subscribe and press the notification bell so that you can receive notification whenever I release a video and you don't miss anything. Over to him. My name is Alake Mfutuana. I am 17 years old. I grew up in Eastern Cape in a small village called Ngeningana in Letifroy. I, I did my primary school there in Eastern Cape in a school called Nuningana PJSS. There by the house that, that I was living in there. I was living with my grandmother for, for about eight years. Then I came here in Western Cape in 2016 to do high school at, the, at Sopumelela High School. I live in Samora Marshall in Belazwe. And my community is full of social ills, such as gangsterism, teenage pregnancy, robbery. The crime rate is so high in my community. But then, then we, we, we as a team and my friends, we managed to try by all means to stay motivated even though there were social ills. Last year I did seven subjects, which were physical sciences, mathematics, Life Sciences, Geography and Languages, Home Language was this course, and English First Additional Language and Life Orientation. I've obtained six distinctions with one missing distinction, which was English, I obtained 76%. For Physical Sciences, it was the outstanding one, I got 98% for Physical Sciences, 97% for Mathematics, 94% for Life Sciences, 88% for Geography, 87% for Life Orientation, and lastly, 84% for EC course. And last year as a student, there were many challenges because normally my community is, it, it is with many social ills already. They're like gangsterism and other things like teenage pregnancies. But now there was this pandemic which added more of the of strain like, and we had even national lockdowns last year where we were at home for about three months without being in contact with the teachers and that was putting a lot of pressure in us whereby we had to, to start new topics on our own and try to access teachers through WhatsApp and try to get some concepts even through WhatsApp and try to utilize every platform we get and use the alumni from our schools. I strategized the last year. I've downloaded many question papers starting from 2005 up until 2018 from, for different provinces. So what I did, I've made sure that I cover a lot of content during the lockdown. And I started last year, I started 2019 preparing December, covering the content. By May, I made sure that many of the of, of subjects I'm done with the syllabus. Then I'm starting revising question papers from 2005 to 2018. So yeah, I've made sure that I respect time most, mostly because time is what we need and we don't have a lot of time. So I make sure that I respect time. I make sure that I work hard and cover as much as possible. I usually go to school around six in the morning for morning classes. Then I come back at home around six because I also attended the afternoon classes. When I arrived at home, I took an hour to have break and have some nap. Then I wake up and start pushing in my own room and even at home, the, the chores at home, I didn't do them. My parents, they were understanding that I was doing my trick. So I was pushing up until around uh, 12 to 2, so that I, I can have a few hours of sleeping, as sleep is important. And also, I look after my health, even though I was pushing very hard. Firstly, the trade it will, will go to the teachers. They were with me in every step of my way, from grade 8 to grade 12. And also there were, there were programs like Kutwanong, the one, the one that assisted me in math and science to get the outstanding results. The teachers and Kutwanong at, at large, 
I would like to, to thank them and show my sincere gratitude and also my family, parents and my family at large, I'm very thankful. They were so supportive emotionally, physically and mentally. And also people in my cycle such as friends are the ones that they were the pillars. We were working together and covering topics together, motivating each other and we are so united. That's why we manage all of us to pass with outstanding results. I'm so thankful to all of them. I want to get my degree here in the University of Cape Town. Then when I'm a general practitioner, I want to go and impact my community, my village in Eastern Cape. Then thereafter, I will come back to the University of Cape Town and try to specialize. After specializing, I go and try to serve Africa as a whole and join Doctors Without Borders. I want to be an African doctor. The learners that are currently in my trick, in my trick, my advice for them, I want, I want them to believe in themselves, they can do this. A wise man Nelson Mandela once said, it seems impossible until it's done. So what they have to do, they need to use to, to work as a team and try to ask questions to the teachers and make sure they understand thoroughly all concepts and, and not take any, any content in matric for granted. So they have to make sure that they acquire many resources as possible and they cover the syllables early as much as possible so they shouldn't let their work pile. So matric learners should make sure that they respect time because time is a currency of life. For the first two weeks in medicine, it is very exciting and interesting as I'm getting more information I'm developing in many dimensions in life, in knowledge dimension, even in, many, in reflective dimension, there are many dimensions that I'm developing in, but yeah, the workload, yeah, but I'm trying to cope. Kutranong is a program that is across the country. In, the, in all provinces, there are Kutranong centers. It mainly assists learners from public schools in math and science who are coming from different schools. So in Kutranong is where we get to meet new people that are coming from other schools with different information and different study skills. So it's where we get to communicate and acquire more skills and get to know to each other and make new friends that will assist us in our academic journey. Kutranong is mainly assisting us from Friday to Sunday in maths and science for about three hours maths and three hours science every day and also when during holidays we go and attend Kutranong for Monday to Saturday. Lastly Kutranong since there was coronavirus and also lockdown during the lockdown Kutranong they, they secured the system for us it was more peculiar where we have to study online and access teachers online and discuss concepts and we are more comfortable with that because it really helped, helped us a lot.